solve prox x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 2 times x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 7 plus 6 x squared minus 15x plus 18 equals 0. The given equation is a polynomial equation of degree 6. We might be able to solve this problem using the rational root theorem. If the equation has rational roots, however, it might be computationally intensive in this case. So we'll use a simpler method. We let t equal the expression underlined in red plus the expression underlined in blue over 2, which can be simplified to x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3 over 2 times x plus 5 over 2 as equals the expression underlined in red minus the expression underlined in blue over 2, which can be simplified to minus x squared plus 5 over 2 times x minus 9 over 2. We can see that t plus s is expression underlined in brads. t minus s is the expression underlined in blue. 6x squared minus 15x plus 18 can be written as minus 6x minus 9. So equation 1 can be written as t plus s times t minus s minus 6x minus 9, which is 0. t plus s times t minus s can be written as t squared minus s squared. The left hand side of the equation can be written as t squared minus s squared plus 6 s plus 9 s squared plus 6 s plus 9 can be written as a perfect square s plus 3 all squared plus t equals plus minus s plus 3 is 1 t equals s plus 3. We substitute t and s in t equals s plus 3. The equation can be simplified to x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. We can see that the first two terms can be factorized to x squared times x minus 1. The next two terms can be factorized to minus 4 times x minus 1. So we can now write x minus 1 times x squared minus 4 equals 0. So x1 equals 1, x2 equals 2, x3 equals minus 2, case 2, t equals 
minus s plus 3. Similarly, by substituting t and s in t equals minus s plus 3. And simplifying, we can now write x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. The left hand side of the equation can be factorized, so we can now write x squared times x minus 1 minus 2x times x minus 1 minus x minus 1. We can see that there's a common factor, x minus 1, so we can now write x minus 1 times x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So x4 equals 1 x5 equals 1 plus root 2, x6 equals 1 minus root 2. So there are 6 solutions.